Now, the first word on the Protestant side that describes their concept of justification is the term forensic. Forensics has to do with speech. Maybe you were involved in a forensic club at school, so you know this term. The reason why the Protestants' concept of justification is called forensic is because their ultimate basis of justification is the declaration of God. When God declares a man just, he is in fact just. This concept is based on the scriptural passage in Romans chapter 4, where the Apostle Paul appeals to the life of Abraham. Paul states, Abraham believed God when God made certain promises to him, and because Abraham believed God, the Bible says God counted or imputed, or the word reckoned it, to him as righteousness. That is, declared him to be considered standing righteous in God's sight. So for Martin Luther and the Protestant reformers, the basis of Abraham's justification is found in God's declaring him pardoned or justified the moment he believed. Forensic justification, then, is an act God does outside or apart from man. It is the judicial declaration of God about the man that he, because of Christ, now stands in a state of justness. The man has been officially declared pardoned by God. To get a broader understanding of what Protestants meant by forensic justification, we need to look at the second word which describes their view. It's the word synthetic. By this term, Protestant reformers meant there is a synthesis, a combining or adding of something to the life of the sinner when he stands before God. Namely, the sinner appears before God in union with Christ. The biblical imagery says, he appears clothed with the righteousness of Christ. That is, the righteousness, the merits of Christ, are imputed to him and cover him. God declares a sinner just, not in and of himself, but he declares him just in Christ. It's the merits of Christ that constitute a man righteous, not the merits of the man. Now to say that the merits are imputed, which is point number three underneath the Protestant side, means that they are reckoned or counted or transferred from the account of Jesus, so to speak, and placed in the account of the sinner. So, the moment the sinner believes in Christ, God sees him standing before him with Christ and all the riches and merits of Christ cancel out the sinner's debts. The synthesis has taken place. That is, Christ and his merits have been added to the account of the sinner. The sinner offers nothing of his own, but everything of Christ. It's on the basis of the merits of Christ alone, which are imputed to the sinner, that allows God to declare him just.